I remember the first time I met you, I, I came as a very junior reporter, came to the Brookside set. Yes, I remember. Which was, I always remember, it was fascinating because they it was an actual close of houses yeah, that Phil Redmond that. bought. A really good business brain, so that when the show eventually ended, he just sold it's them. Far, of but anyway, um, it, interviewing you and Ricky, and then of course you went on to do the Royal Family with, with and that's so Caroline. lovely, gorgeous Caroline O'Hearn. Yes. I know you were talking about Shiro's before, mm. and she would be mine, one of mine, and she was taken too young, and she was the most generous, kind, and we all know how funny. Yeah. Did you know how her before, funny. or did you just build up that relationship during the film? We just, we just built up that relationship. Um, she met Ricky at a, an awards do and said, you're going to be my dad. And Sue Johnson's going to be my mum. Oh. And he rang me and said, what do you think she meant? <laughs> <laughs> and then the script arrived, which was the royal family, and that was... She had in her head, when she wrote oh. it, the two of us back oh. together That's again. why it worked, oh. I guess, yeah. because she had... Yeah. But it's, it, is it the 25th anniversary this May? This May, yes. And we're, yeah. And we're you're going to do something in at, Manchester? At the, uh, at the festival. Right. Uh, they were just getting us all together. Is that going to be the first time since she died? That all, uh, yes, I've seen people individually out it's of the gonna cast. It's going to be hard, though. Is that uh, true? Yeah, it is. Yes, mm. because if you don't see people regularly, you don't miss them continually, if you see right. what I mean. No, yeah. absolutely. And then suddenly you'll get a realisation that you'll she's get... gone. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. And it washes over you. And are, you, are you able to watch any of the episodes? Would that be too I, painful at this point? I, no, I've not been able to watch any. Yeah. No. And you haven't even taken a number out of your phone? I can't. No, I can't do delete. I, yeah. I can't delete. I've got a few friends on there who have died. I'm yeah. sure you have too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. To go delete. How do you do that? I don't, I don't know, know how you do that, so I'd rather to. leave them there yeah. and... Uh, Whew, that's taken a turn for the worse, yeah. this conversation. No, not at all. Oh. Sure, because we've been talking about amazing women on International mm. Women's Day. Yeah. Yes. And she certainly was. And she she's was. so very generous. Um, very generous. Writing for other women, thinking of them all the time. Mm. She thought of them. And groundbreaking. Yes. Mm. And ground she was totally groundbreaking. Mm. Yes. And also so generous with the crew and the cast, you know. That's all you ever hear about, yes. Because of course yeah. we have a lot of people on the show that knew her. And everyone says the same. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. that's how she was. What a legacy, no, isn't it? No, yeah. yeah, what One a thing legacy. I was fascinated to read about you, Sue, and I know you're happy to talk about this, is that you became bulimic in your 40s. 30s. 30s. Because we, we always associate it with young girls, I know. really. I know. How did it come about? Well, I've off, I, I often wonder why. You sort of think you're sensible and everything, but... I just... I think it was pressure. I never had enough confidence. Um, I always felt that I wasn't good enough. And then I started being on telly and being recognised. And I, I think it just threw me. Yeah. And I needed... I wanted to be thin. I don't know why. From the 60s, I thought to be thin, mm. when something went on in here, to be thin was to be beautiful. And I never thought of myself as beautiful. So I thought if I would be thin, I would be acceptable or beautiful or and if you're on telly it puts 10 pounds on you so mm. you we, oh, and all that i think but i didn't know i was ill mm. and i didn't know bulimia well it's something and, like that can really creep up on you yeah. can't it and i mean often we we have we've had people on here often talking about eating disorders and it can it can be also at times in your life where you feel like you haven't got enough control and there's something about controlling your food that can give us almost a comfort. Yes. And also, to me, I can remember the feeling, and this is how insane it sounds, that the logic of thinking, oh, well, if I eat all that and throw it up, yeah. sounds mm. awful, but... And I'm so full of shame oh, about it. But the, the logic is, oh, well, I can eat and yeah. be thin. Yeah. 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 So I'm answering... At my problems. Well, yeah. and I'm of sure course it's not, and no, it's it's, so. it's and you need to talk about it. I yeah. think anybody no, that you, know, you need exactly. to talk it's about. It's very it. brave of you to speak. We we do it a lot on the show, and we we appreciate you doing it as well. You are one of our remarkable women today, by the yeah. way, Susan. Oh, thank, thank you very much <laughs> for coming on.